Oh boy, our thoughts and prayers with the good folks of North Carolina, North and South Carolina. It's still almost impossible to wrap your head around the idea that they got as much rain in three days in parts of the Carolinas as we have seen all year. And we're on a record pace right now with close to 43 inches of rain so far for the year. That's more than 15 inches above normal for us. And there are parts of the Carolinas that saw that much water in three days. I don't see how they're still standing, to be honest with you. God bless them. All right, here we are with a look at a beautiful night out there. If you like it, chilly and a little on the damp side. We do have spotty showers, but nothing going on at the airport or downtown. Humidity is at 83 percent. The dew point's 52 degrees, so the air is still relatively dry there. And the winds are out of the northeast at three miles an hour. Temperatures around the region are all in the 50s, no exceptions. And that includes the entire region, going all the way back out to Zanesville, up to Cleveland, and back east to State College. They're a hot spot, at least locally. Pittsburgh, uh, Latrobe, Morgantown, all at 57 apiece. On the other end, we've got Johnstown, Butler, Catanning, and State College at 53 degrees. Temperatures are going to hold fairly steady, drop another degree or two probably down into the low to mid 50s for overnight lows before rising up close to 70 tomorrow. I don't think we quite get there. Most of us topping out at 67 or 8 degrees, but one or two of you might make the 70 degree mark. Remember, the average high is 72, so we'll be below normal across the board tomorrow and for the next day or two after that, as a matter of fact. Right now, you can see, again, a lot of false echo return activity at the uh, International Airport and at the uh, surrounding airports. There are, however, a lot of real deal showers in this whole mix. Anything that you see that's dark green, anything yellow, that's all the real deal and it is reaching the surface. But most of what's out there right now, including everything downtown, at the airport, out east, not making it to the ground. And, and won't. As we go through the overnight hours, you can see things will be pretty quiet for us. Now, Futurecast does by 4 a.m. begin to pick up a slug of moisture that's going to be moving by to our south, mainly south of I-70. And that will be overnight and early tomorrow morning. Then it'll go quiet for a while before things start to blossom again Sunday night, and especially Monday. That's when we'll all get a chance for showers and possibly one or two thunderstorms as well. Don't think flooding will be a problem, and I don't think severe weather will be either. You can see the severe weather prediction maps not picking up anything heavy, only marginal activity, and that's well out into portions of the upper Midwest. In terms of rainfall, not much. We're talking at most three quarters of an inch in Morgantown. That's through tomorrow night. Excuse me. That's through Monday night. Uh, uh, four tenths in Pittsburgh, a quarter of an inch in Butler and Catanning. So you can see. Things are on the light side, fairly light side, as we head into the early part of next week. Forecast says 53 with mostly cloudy skies, seasonable temps tonight. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, partly to mostly cloudy. We'll see a little bit of sunshine tomorrow. Still cool, though, with a high of only 67 degrees. 69 on Monday, still below normal. Late day showers that day, then spotty showers Tuesday and Wednesday, Paul. Thursday, it looks like we dry out and we stay that way heading into next weekend. But you'll notice no 80s. It's all 70s and mainly 50s for lows. Paul.